Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Econobox Garage. In this week's episode, we're sort of on our bug eye build. I didn't get an awful lot done in the garage this week because it's been really cold here in Calgary. The lows have been around minus 30 Celsius, and highs have been around minus 24, 25 for most of this week. I do have a couple of things to report. A new floor pan arrived from a different supplier for the driver's side, so I'll be comparing those. And my granddaughter actually asked me a question about the the work I've been doing, so I'll be answering that uh, for her and for you as well. Thanks again for joining me in the garage. I hope you enjoy this week's video. A question for my granddaughter after the last couple of videos. She said, Grandpa, how do you know where the spot welds are? So to show you that, I've cleaned off the, the old paint and everything off this edge here. And then if you look closely, and there's one there, you can see, and then there's another one here. There's little dimples in the middle where the spot welder was used when the car was built. So that's how I find out where the spot welds are. So on a positive note this week, the uh, driver's side floor pan arrived from Royal Restorations. That's a Canadian company out of Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, I was very pleased with their packaging and the speed of their service. And so I just thought I'd take the opportunity before I cut either of these up to compare the two. So the black one is the one I got from bugeyeguy.com. And uh, I just checked his website uh, the other day. Now this is middle of February 2021. And he didn't have any listed at all. So I don't know whether he's just on back order or has stopped supplying them. But anyway, that's where I got this one from. And uh, I, I will post links to both these suppliers uh, in the description below. Uh, first thing I noticed with the the Royal one compared to the Bug Eye guy is that the, the Royal one is quite a bit heavier. It uses a heavier gauge. I believe he said he uses 18 gauge uh, whereas the the Bug Eye guy one and I think most others are at uh, 20. I noted in an earlier video that the ribs in the floor on the Bug Eye guy's pan do not match up with the original. I've checked on Royal Restoration's version and they do in fact line up nicely so that'll help a little bit. The other thing I noticed is the stamping for the the footwell area isn't quite as deep on the Royal Restoration's one uh, relative to the the Bug Eye one and I think the Bug Eye one is a little more accurate on that. A couple of things missing on the Royal one you can see right about here that's the where the seat mounts and that's a reinforcing piece there. That's not present on the Royal Restorations version. And also the holes for the uh, where the spring box and what have you mount are there on the Bug Eye Guy version, but they are not there on the, the Royal one. Uh, what I'll do is I will uh, mount these back to back. I'll just use this as a pattern uh, for the holes on that one. Uh, and once I get them installed, in the car I can do another comparison as, as to how they were to work with and um, and what the end results were. Another little job I did this week was uh, cleaning up uh, the tail light lenses. I think back in episode one or two I'd asked if uh, anybody knew how to get old residue off or old tape residue off these uh, tail lights. The previous owner had used this old style fiberglass reinforced tape to tape the whole uh, assemblies together. So uh, it was suggested I tried Goo Gone and uh, actually picked that up at Dollarama for a really good price. And it actually, it, it did the trick. Here's, I've already done one of them. So as you can, it was actually in worse shape than, uh, than that one there. Then as you can see, it's come out uh, quite nicely and a bit of plastic polish and, and that, and we'll be ready to go with that one. Now what I did is I just scraped off as much of the uh, this white stuff here as I could without scratching the lens and went to it with a microfiber cloth and the goo gone and um, as you can see the results are, are pretty good. Well that does it for this week. Uh, it's a short visit to the Econobox garage and thanks for coming along. While not being able to work in the garage I found a kind of a fun book to read. It's called It Came With Oil, An Adventure into the Art of British Car Repair 
and written by an Alan Cowan. It's available on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, Alan shares some stories of his, uh, his Land Rover, his Bug Eye, his first car, if I remember correctly, was a Nash Ambassador. Uh, and one of the things he emphasizes as he goes through this book is uh, the importance of uh, good, solid work habits. Uh, you know, making sure things are tight, not just finger tight. If you drop a nut somewhere, make sure you find it. S stuff like that. Other stories of explosions, tow truck drivers losing and finding his uh, Land Rover, and also uh, some race car and motorcycle stuff. I found it uh, really lighthearted and entertaining and engaging and a really practical read and I think you'll enjoy it if you enjoy old, these old British cars. I hope you liked the video, although it's short. Uh, please subscribe, I really appreciate that. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, hit that little uh, bell icon so you'll get notified when the next videos come out. It's going to be warmer next week so I should be able to get back to actually getting some uh, work done on the, the bug eye. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.